Gen 99.3, Nigeria Info. We're broadcasting live from Etimi and Chris and Victoria Island, Lagos, Nigeria. Lagos, how are you today? Hope you had a great night. Um, it's the last hour of the morning, Crossfire, and uh, we're here to have an interesting conversation. Uh, I, I told you that we're going to be diving deeper into the Abakiari situation um, this morning. I have Libro Sashama in the studio. I also have, um, joining me via telephone, the uh, Director of Media and Advocacy, NDLEA, Mr. Femi Baba Femi, who joins us via the telephone. Mr. Femi, good morning to you. Thank you. Good morning, Sheriff. How are you? I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Yeah, uh, Lagos, you can join us on this conversation. We're not going to keep Mr. Femi on the line for too long uh, because of obvious reasons. Uh, so we're going to make this very snappy and straight to the point. Liberos will also um, joining. Oh, Mr. Femi, quickly, l- let's start with um, uh, wh- what I would call the the... Uh, investigation, the process of it, and uh, quite a number of people have been asking, when did this investigation start? Well, uh, I would say, just like um, we said in the statement we issued yesterday, <clears throat> this whole process was actually um, uh, initiated by the principal suspect in this case, and uh, that was on 21st of um, January when he made the first call to one of our officers and um, the process began from there. Unfortunately, um, this uh, is a ring that cuts across Brazil, Ethiopia, and Nigeria. The investigation is ongoing, but we just um, need to interrogate some of those involved, even though we still have some presence at large. Um, but we're hoping we're going to get everybody, and it's going to be a very quick process, by mm. the grace of God. When you mentioned that you have um, quite um, some people at large, what are you? who are you referring to? Police officers or NDLA officials? Definitely. Well, that, well, in this case, I'm referring to some officers of um, the Nigerian police, who um, I'm sure you also uh, got the, the statement from the police yesterday. Yes, also we did. Yeah, also confirming that. Um, unfortunately, the twist um, from the police, even though we this is not a, a Nigerian police versus NDLA's case, it's just... Right. Um, a criminal investigation. And in a criminal investigation like this, um, you never can tell hmm. where it will span to and how it will um, all end. But then uh, what we are started based on the available information, right. um, where are who, I mean, maybe the other parties may not know the depth and the volume of evidence we have with us. Okay. Even the confessions of um, the principal suspect himself in this case, okay. we have um, a whole lot on the whole process and on how the thing started all the way from Brazil to Ethiopia and Nigeria, and even a couple of other transactions hmm. that um, had taken place prior to now. Hey. All of these are well documented in our evidence in our. Um, of evidence. Mm. M- M- Mr. Femi, it's also being said that um, some high-ranking, high-ranking police of officers uh, may have been indicted in this um, drug business. I- is that what you can confirm to us? Oh, I wouldn't be speaking on that because that's what I told you. I said um, in a criminal investigation like this, you never can tell hmm. um, how it to expand and um, who uh, may be involved or indicted at the end of the day. Mm. But then, like we assured yesterday, everyone involved in this case would definitely face the music, mm. whoever, wherever they are coming from, wherever they walk. Is it, is it true that the police was forced to hand him over to you? You have the old scenario before you, Sheriff. Mr. Femi, for the record, and for those who are listening... Is it true that he was? It was police was forced to hand him over to you. 
that's what I've just I've, I've just told you that you have the records before you. It's for you to make your. What, what I do know is that um, we made we followed due process to invite the suspects, and um, where we couldn't get them as I went due or as at the agreed time, that was why we had to come out to declare him wanted. We're not declaring him wanted to indict or to disparage anybody. Certainly not because. Um, if we wanted to do that, there are quite a number of things that we could have allowed in the public space. But mm. we didn't do that. So mm. that's why I said this is not. This has nothing to do with um, the two agencies. Okay. This is a pure criminal investigation. Mm. And in this case, um, we, we expect the cooperation of everybody, all the stakeholders. Mm. And um, we're grateful, we are glad that uh, as things start now, we at least... The police has um, been able to arrest and hand over the suspects to us. Mm, indeed. Now, before I let you go, Mr. Femi, I, I know you have a busy day, and I thank you for um, giving us 15 minutes of your time this morning. Um, some of your um, officers are, have also been indicted. Can you speak to us on this? Have they been arrested? Uh, indicted by who now? In, that's, what in, I'm tell- that's what I'm telling you. We, we started this investigation weeks ago so and we were the ones that informed the police um, hierarchy right of what we have and who we need to interact with so the investigation should be left to us to 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 be concluded if i mean at the end of the day when we conclude the investigation Mm -hmm. we now and it's now obvious or that we're shielding anybody then you can come out and make a claim but in this case we have the facts we have the evidences we have everything documented and that's why what we have as we speak right does not um uh align with that particular claim Mm. Because the claim, the claim I'm referring to, I'm sure you know, is a statement that claimed that s- some of what your officers have, at the Akanu yes. IBM uh, exactly. were working with drug cartels. Exactly. That does not align or agree or corroborate with the confessions of the principal suspect himself. Okay. We have all of this on video and on record. You know, we have it on record how the thing moved from Brazil to Ethiopia, from Ethiopia. You know, the claim that... Um, the photographs were sent to our officers. Yes, that that does not align with the confession of the principal suspect mm-hmm. on record, saying that the pictures were sent to him, and it was through him that we got the pictures of the suspects. So <laughs> they are, we don't want to. We don't want to, We don't want this to look like. Um, it's um, an interagency thing. We need the cooperation of everybody, and we are glad that so far the police has um, handed over these people, and um, they should support us to proceed in this investigation. And um, everybody will have his day in court. Hmm. You, 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 Mr. Femi, you know that initially before now, um, Abakiari was. Um, uh, being the U.S. government is requesting his extradition to to U.S. If if it comes to it, will the NDLA be willing to release him to go and answer some questions in the U.S. and come back to face this one? The case we have with him is a dr- I mean, it's a drug related case. That's right. And so our interest is to prosecute that. Now, how the other. Um, I mean, how other, how relevant authorities or the appropriate authorities uh, proceed with the other case shouldn't be our own um, focus or responsibility. Mm. As is what we have at hand, they are not related. And um, the appropriate authorities will make the right decision as far as the other case is concerned. We can't speak on that. Okay. Mr. Femi, thank you so much for talking to me this morning. I really do thank appreciate it. Thank you, Sherry, for mm-hmm. having me. Thank you. Um, Liberos, uh, thank you again for uh, waking up this early morning. I know it's, it's a big, big, big thing to wake up in the morning to come to the studio. But I'm, I'm glad that you always make out make out time. You heard my conversation with Mr. Femi. About Femi. Yes, I did. Uh, what, what's your thought on some of the things he said? Um, you know, 
uh, being a matter still under investigation, yeah. um, I will um, agree with him to some extent, to a very large extent, that um, there are some information that he cannot divulge at this critical stage. Um, especially, um, if not that, you have uh, one of our so-called super cop involved. Mm. I, I don't think he would have seen, you know, this much uh, light and publicity. And so, uh, because um, drug business is not something that um, one or two persons will just get engaged mm. in. Uh, mm. then it's usually a very long ring, yeah. uh, you know. Yeah. And in most cases, uh, the target would be to get the not just the principal suspect now mm. but the ringleader mm. you know the financier mm. um, who might either be based here or not based here right and, and you know so uh, the the I, I agree with him that he want to keep you know certain information and then also would want to um you know want the buying of uh, the police and the massive cooperation because from mm -hmm. police statement it was very obvious that they were not too happy mm -hmm. that one of theirs was uh, publicly indicted mm -hmm. and then they were quick to say that the ndla mm -hmm. should also investigate their officers as if mm -hmm. it was about um, the matter was about investigation of uh, agencies mm. uh, from um, the story so far it wasn't about investigation of agencies uh, it was um, handing over yeah. of suspects mm. that had been arrested because it is within the jurisdiction of the ndla to deal with drug related that's cases. right and so that's right anytime an arrest is made by the police you know of any matter that is drug related mm. it is uh, their suspects are handed over to the, the NDLA, uh, the NDLA right. uh, and then they are debriefed and then NDLA now takes up the investigation. I want to talk so to you I about... I think it is in the light of that yeah. that um, on January 21st, mm. the first call was made from yeah. their press release right. and then on 22nd of January, mm. the NDLA official got the nod from mm. uh, his agency to mm. go on with... Um, to go on with um, the... Um, operations to, right. to play along with right. them you know because a lot of people also are listening to some of the callers this morning a lot of them it is obvious that a lot of people had not even read the press release right and then, so they right. probably thought that oh this had been on since last year mm -hmm. it was just january here right and as at friday the suspect was uh, allegedly handed over last week mm. and then by friday they requested debriefing because mm. you don't just hand over suspect right you will debrief the agency mm. of what happened and then um, in, in, if possible, you know, um, make a statement also and hand over a file if statements have been made or extracted mm. from, from, you know, the suspect. Mm. They said the police officers didn't do that. Mm. They just handed over the suspect and left. And so upon a, vis a invitation to come debrief the agency, yeah. and they were very arrogant about it. And But I also will not also blame people that have been, you know, um, uh, circumspect about what had played out because right. you know in Nigeria anything happen anything mm. can happen and mm. um, you know so you can talk very tough and hard today mm. and uh, tomorrow you just hear that the matter has fizzled out mm. uh, using the instrumental hiding under the instrumentality of the law mm. too especially when you have you know um, somebody who is highly connected both politically religiously mm. and um, you know, amongst um, even the police hierarchy. Let me talk to you about that further, Liberals. Um, there's been uh, this talk about extradition or no extradition. Um, is there anywhere in our laws, any of our laws, that says that um, once you're, you've been tried or you've been caught a suspect for a local crime, you can't be extradite, extradited for, um, into another, uh, to another country? Yes, yes. Let me quickly um, read to the benefits of um, our listeners. Um, mm. I think um, Section 11 or so of the Extradition Act mm. uh, 2004. And then um, a, a lot of other, you know, sections. Even the Attorney General can refuse extradition if, uh, in his opinion, uh, the matter is not one that um, uh, the... Uh, um, uh, fugitive mm. should be extradited. Mm. Um, in some cases, even the courts can reject an application for extradition. Oh. Um, that the offense for which um, the accused is wanted or the fugitive is wanted yeah. is, is one that can be dealt with here. You know? And so, 
um, that would now bring me to mm. if they wanted to cover up, mm. if it was all about cover up, right. they probably would have used all those uh, Buruji Kashamu's tactics, mm. you know, uh, use the court and then, or if you could, some cases, use the Antonin General and not to be involved in a drug yeah. Uh, case. Yeah, uh, yeah so that, that is probably a, a real case, not, yes, not some. Yes. Um, yeah. Because also from the narrative, it actually started, you know, just a few weeks ago That's and not right. something that started um, uh, last year. Mm. And then, um, okay, I wanted to read uh, section 11 to you of this extradition act postponement of surrender of fugitives mm. subject to subsection two of this section if of this section where a fugitive criminal has been charged with an offense tribal before in any nigeria any court in nigeria or is serving a sentence imposed by any court in nigeria then until such time as he has been discharged whether by acquittal the expiration or a remission of his sentence or otherwise however mm -hmm. he shall not be surrendered except as permitted by any law in force in nigeria the sub paragraph b says subject to this act a prisoner serving such sentence as is referred to in subsection 1b of this section may at the discretion of the president be returned temporarily to another country within the commonwealth in which he is accused of a returnable offense to enable proceedings to be brought against the prisoner in relation to the offense on such conditions and must be agreed between the president and the country requesting the surrender of the prisoner. Mm. So, um, interpret. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so what that what that means is that um, if you are standing trial for right. an, this is an investigation, not trial yet. Right. If you are standing trial for any offense here in nigeria mm. or you are you are serving a jail sentence in nigeria here mm. you cannot uh, be extradited to any country except you know uh, on that uh, on the uh, by by the provisions of a superior law uh, presumably maybe the constitution in, mm. in out of the country but if you are serving a jail sentence here in nigeria yeah on the order of the president you can't be sent to another country depending on the agreement between the president yeah. and that country yeah. you can't be sent to another country to stand trial another commonwealth country yeah. to to be tried for mm. you know an offense depending on the agreement between the country and the president mm. so that's basically what that this is. one now this case abakari is not standing trial abakari is not standing trial yet abakari is um is being investigated and there are from the story from the narrative it yeah. is very clear mm. the the i need i will take time to explain a few things okay. the way these things work and then why the it is not just about abakari but mm. you know as much as we try to defend the nigeria police mm. but because of what we have turned the nigerian police to yeah. it's not attractive to the best of us Mm. And, and so that is why you find out that the worst of us consistently, you know, overshadow even the good work of a few mm. in the Nigerian police. Mm. And then um, you, you, you have a system that they call the return system. Mm. It's prevalent in the police more, mm. but also you have find it in ministries, uh, agencies and parastatas. A DPO is appointed or posted to a police station. Yeah. At the end of the day, the area commander or the a, a commissioner of police who wants to do something mm -hmm. he will tax all the dpos yet their impressed hardly comes where do you expect the man to get to get that money that from. money from mm -hmm. it's from the uh, uh, proceeds of you know crimes like this or mm -hmm. from you and i mm -hmm. and in mm -hmm. some cases when you are sent out like this you come back you bring returns for your superior mm -hmm. You know, your superior will act. You think Abakari would act alone? Definitely, there are some superiors who also... Because this is a man who is on suspension. He still has a team. He's still heading a team. Mm -hmm. And then he got a call from a supposed partner who wants to double-cross the carrier from um, Ethiopia. Ethiopia, yes. And that's also that story also tallies with the story of Hush Puppy. Mm. Where Hush Puppy, when the um, what's the name of that? Uh, that another guy, guy wanted yes. to double cross I, Hush Puppy. Hush Puppy, mm. Hush Puppy now said, I will deal with you and mm. called Abakari yeah. to deal with him. Mm. And Abakari, you know, kept him in custody for 30 days. Mm. So it is the same thing here. Mm. So a criminal who wants to double deal another criminal mm. 
called Abba Kari and said, look, there's a, some way carrier who's coming from yeah. Brazil Let's and route to Ethiopia. Mm. Let's go to break. Uh, when we return, we would we, we'll, um, dive even deeper because me, I'm concerned about the cases that he's done, whether there is implication in that area as well. Lagos, stay with us. We'll be right back here on the Morning Crossfire 99.3. More conversation, more talk, more, right after this. Mm, my name na Lady T. Mm, professional Wi-Fi tapper. Mm. Hotel, mm -hmm. Itrio, mm. anywhere where I see free Wi-Fi.
Info. The nation's number one talk station, 99.3 Nigeria Info. We're back on the morning crossfire, 8.37 is the time. We're streaming live on Facebook and on YouTube, Nigeria Info 99.3. We'll come to you in a moment. Uh, but we still need to talk um, some more on this other carry situation. Uh, Libros Oshama is still here with me in the studio. Libros. Yeah, um, so um, I have uh, I, I completely lost my chain of... Um, yeah, we're, we're talking and, about uh, how, uh, how wide this goes, how deep yeah. this is. So I was is. telling you that uh, Abakari, you know, a suspended police officer, um, still uh, carrying out sting operation. Yeah. He wasn't uh, definitely working alone. Somebody must have, somebody up there would have, um, you, you know... Um, ordered that um it should go on ahead and still be doing all of those things yes definitely and then being um um a cop who is working directly with the inspector general of police also um, once such information comes he would request the permission of his boss to travel right or right. you know maybe a dig or an aig mm. is working on that or directly to the ig so he will recruit the moment they got that call yeah. he will request the permission of his uh, boss to travel and mm. so what happened was they got the call somebody wanted to a criminal who wanted to double deal another criminal mm. called him to say look somebody is coming from brazil en route ethiopia, ethiopia yeah. and do, so they are coming with 25 kg he got the 25 kg arrested the man got the 25 kg down called the because they were to hand over the suspects to NDLA. Mm. Now called the NDLA to say, Look, I need to see you. And then, um, he informed him that so you know the man actually came with 25 kg, they mm. arrested him with 25 kg. Mm. Uh, but that, um, they have removed 15 kg for themselves, 7 kg for the informant, mm. and 8 kg for him and his team, mm. and 1 kg. Uh, the price of 1 kg is 7 million. Um, naira per ki kilogram and that so there was remaining 10 kg and out of that 10 kg that they should the NDLA should take out 5 kg for themselves mm. that he would sell the 5 kg that in fact he had sold it for them and then um, that he was ready to hand over it was at the point of handing over the money that you saw those clip the video that, that the videos i was mm. you know um, ready to hand over the money for the 5 kg and so the other 20 kgs should just be dummy but that the 5 kg would be tested mm. would be the one that would be tested in the presence of the accused or the suspect the uh, the, yeah this the carrier yeah and that so so that he won't dispute that you know something had gone wrong mm. and so they all played along and then um, for me like I said, somebody approved his, granted him permission to go because mm. of return system. And mind mm. you, these people are connected politically, religiously, oh, you know, it's, everywhere. It's deep. It's they donate deep. money it's to deep. It's they deep. donate money mm. to people. They give them, um, they pay children school fees of certain persons, mm. and you know, they also. Uh, uh, fund campaigns for for other persons. Ah, so Libros, if, I, is, if I tell you what I heard about that thing that you're talking about, it is about, it eh? is very deep, mm. and then that reward system, return system for police and for agents. That's why when you are, that's why you hear juicy portfolio, yeah. non juicy portfolio. Mm. So you are posted to a command. If you are not making return to the top, mm. before you know it, you'll be removed there and sent to education corps mm. where nothing comes to you. Mm. So and so for people like this. The, you have a lot of them. Mm -hmm. There are many. And that's why, even at, that's why, um, if you remember when EFCC, at the formation of EFCC, yeah. they were, the agency was populated largely by police. Mm -hmm. And at some point, the EFCC also got angry that, look, this, the police mentality is right. creeping into EFCC. Right. And there's always a difference between, you know, um, when an EFCC official is investigating a matter and a police officer in EFCC mm. is investigating a matter. Mm. And so they, uh, and that's what led to the flushing out of most police officers from the EFCC because right. the EFCC operatives were not too happy. Mm. And I, I tell people, Nigerian police can work if we want it to work. But how come you have EFCC that is, you know, even though... We, Despite the complaint, yeah. they are functioning more effectively than our police. They mm -hmm. conduct investigation even before arrest. Mm -hmm. But for the police, they will arrest before it's investigation. This is the other way around, yeah. You know, so because of this, you know, reward system, yeah. return system, yeah. and then we had, then there's this trust deficit. 
A lot of people had said, oh, look, with this Hush Puppies case, it was, a it was an opportunity for Nigerians to make a bold statement that not all Nigerians are criminal. Mm. And that, so that this Abakari's issue is a cover-up. I do not, I wouldn't want to subscribe to that. You know why? Why? Somebody is wanted for fraud. He would not, um, drug offense would not be an opportunity for him to escape a fraud uh, um, um, al al allegation. What if he's going to stop him from being taken out of the country, out of his comfort zone? But do you, do you know the... Out the, of his support do, system. Do you know... I agree with you to that extent mm. because um, if Ibori probably had remained back in Nigeria, he would have mm. gone to jail, you know, abroad. But also, do you know, do you know the, the dent to that name? to the family name oh this was a super cop yeah. that we all know mm. and then all of a sudden he's uh, been uh, wanted for fraud related uh, cases mm. involving one nigerian who is a fraud and then why that is going on the moment there were processes yeah. to request for for him you know and then the next thing he's arrested for a fraud a, a, a drug, drug related mm. case involving you know some couriers from brazil and mm. ethiopia and it can still be if at the end of the day is yeah. a ring yeah. he can still be sent to brazil mm. if even after he's tried for this offense right. by virtue of paragraph b the country brazil can still request for him mm. and so if he's a receiver here and then there's a courier there you, you know so this is not um it's even if it's an attempt by them to cover up it is um it for me it is way too too damning hmm. for you to want to use this to cover up a fraud fraud case because it, some, someone told someone in told Nigeria, me yesterday everything is possible. exactly someone yeah. told me yesterday that i mean for someone who was suspended and was still allowed to do some things it, it, sh it shows how well connected how strongly connected it is it, it, and it also it, shows it also shows loyalty like is someone who is willing or who will be willing to take the fall for some big shots in power no, for no matter to, how damning the to, fall for is for him to 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 rise to where he is mm. you can't rise in the nigerian police if you are not ready if you are not loyal to some persons you can't rise in nigerian parastatas if you do not even in politics in Nigeria, they will tell you loyalty ah, is the loyal, name of loyalty, the game. Yeah. Loyalty is blind loyalty. You yeah. dare not question yeah. your superior. Yeah. So in this case, in this case, for you to rise in in this parastatus, mm -hmm. in this organization, including Nigerian police, you must be loyal to some persons up there who sees you as a guy who cooperates regularly. Mm -hmm. Anywhere you put him, he get, he makes returns. He gives returns. Mm. He works effectively. Yeah, he's um, he deals with uh, the criminals that are not ready to play ball. Yeah. The ones that are ready to play ball will consistently enjoy, mm. you know, his patronage. And and, and so, it, 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 could, it could be that yes, it's 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 damning. But then again, it's a hard well, for mind you, it could be mind, a cover for a you. bigger bigger ring. Yeah, but especially but, locally. No, you you see, I do not think that having attained that position. Yeah. Because here, like they say, um, everything is possible, including those things that are, are, are uh, under the law. Yeah. Everything is permitted, even including those things that are prohibited. You know? Yeah. So, having attained that level, and you also know that someday, because once you get to that level, the mm. next thing is after retirement, you want to go into politics. Right. You know, you know you want to go into politics. You find other alternative. You can even meet the attorney general and find a way around it. You can even use the court system. Use some senior advocates to, to weigh house matters in, in, um, in, in court. In court. And not to now, you know, headlong. You, you, you imagine you, you, you're diving fully, you're diving like completely. fully, completely into a drug case. Uh, look, we are also, mm. we are also, if we if we trivialize it this way, we are also not um, looking at the 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 re reformation and the restructuring organization of the ndla by buba maru are also taking away the efforts yeah. of the chairman of the ndla we, we, which is which is not uh, which really is, it's 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 not good yes it's not because good. 
Buba Marwa is somebody I would like him to. His he, all all his um, um, career right from these days as governor of Lagos State. Right. You know, we saw a lot of reformation. You know how even reform some street boys yeah. and things changed. No, also uh, even though he's a private business, I think Albaka uh, then you know also mm. crashed, but he started very well, mm. and now life in public service. At some point, he wanted to be governor of Borono State also, mm -hmm. but that didn't work. And now, we're also seeing him, you know, as a chairman of NDLA. And we're seeing NDLA, you know, actually bite mm -hmm. instead of backing. And mm -hmm. then, you know, we if we now make it look as if it is just an oppression to deprive um, the extradition of um, uh, Abba Kari, yeah. uh, that will also, you know, um, be ridiculing the effort, the effort of, of the of the NDLA. Mm -hmm. But I also would not want to be, you know, um, carried away with this usual IGG mm -hmm. by our government agencies. You know, we we'll make you know we'll talk tough. Too much noise. You know, make so much noise mm -hmm. about um, the whole thing only for the matter to fizzle out. Mm -hmm. You know, next week. Um, we'll be talking about um, something entirely different. Mm. Last week it was about um, executive order number 10. That's right. Today it is uh, Habakari. <laughs> Habakari. And then who knows? <laughs> by evening today, something you else know, might happen. That's and we'll completely forget Habakari's case. As, as short as the evening of today, yes. any, anything uh, can happen. So I will forget, <laughs> completely forget Habakari's case and then something else will be happening. And so, but uh, that's why I would not want to be carried away with all this plenty yeah. talk. And Because I also know here mm. we consistently say the windmill of justice grinds slowly but surely yeah. but we forget that justice delayed is justice, justice denied, denied indeed. so how swift will the court system be in mm. trying this case I, I don't see anything um, and different. then also the we we also know we don't even though we have seen some former pres, uh, governors you know sent to jail yeah. but we also know that it is um uh, not the same you know a uh, prison that the other everyday man goes uh -huh. to that the big man goes uh -huh. to so whether the uh, prison will be able to contain this big you know mm. a fish it's another this thing is another let's let's of, of let's go to the let's go to the telephone and take some thoughts um very quickly we've got about um four minutes or so to, to take your thoughts on the show um this morning oh seven hundred nine nine three nine nine three nine nine three and then oh two uh oh one four six five seven one nine oh and please make it very brief and straight to the point Thank you. Nigeria Info, good morning to you. Yeah, uh, Chief Quadri, good morning. Morning. Below, good morning, sir. Morning, no. Yeah, the truth is, this, uh, like I said in the morning, Abba Gary is a drowning ship. It should open up. It's not the only one. You still have a lot of them between the police and the, the NDLE uh, gangs. So, Below, I want to thank you once more. Thank you so much, Chris. Nigeria Info, good morning to you. Hello, good morning. Sir. Morning to you. Yeah, this is Francis Pantelleri. Welcome. Yeah, sir, I want to ask, if the star Bakari is a super cop, super cop, super experience uh, officer, with inexperience, all this is happening, then I want to know what is happening to the senior police officer. Hmm. What is the state of police? How will the world look at Nigeria now, our security Mm, thank you, Friday. Uh, that's a very interesting question there. Nigeria Info, good morning to you. Good morning. Gone. Nigeria Info, good morning to you. Oh, no. Please turn off your radio. Hello? Good morning. You need to turn off your radio and call me back. Nigeria Info, good morning to you. Uh, good morning. My name is Obas. I'm calling from Ukraine. Welcome. This Welcome. Abak here right now, we know he has sentenced many people. Many people have gone to jail through him. Yeah. Now, what now happens to him at the end of the day? Hmm. Will they return those people or he'll be no, still no. be confiscated or sent to jail? Thank right. you. Right. Thank you, too. No. Libros, it's part of the things that we're going to talk about anyway. So let's use that to let's seize this opportunity to talk about it. Yeah. He, he's, he, he, like I said, those um those that went to jail are probably those that didn't play ball imagine mm. a, a an informant yeah. giving you information yeah and at the end of the day you compensate him with mm. seven kg of the seized no drugs. no but here's the thing right now so now the he's, man is a, he's a wait, drug wait, suspect wait, no what i'm saying what happened to all those related no, cases that no, he, I, he'd worked on that's what i'm saying that the fact that those people were convicted there were investigations and there were proof so those that went to jail mm. were probably those that didn't play ball. There were so many. We should be talking about those many mm. outside 
those other cases that he worked on, those that went scot free. Right. That's those right. are the ones we should be looking at, right. and not the ones that went to jail. Hmm. The man that is going to jail yeah. for twenty five kg uh, of uh, uh, cocaine, drugs, yeah. cocaine, mm. and meanwhile twenty kg. If if this was yeah. not extinct operation, yeah. twenty kg would have just gone missing, mm -hmm. and so but that man will still go to jail. Regardless, but, regardless, mm. but there is somebody who took seven kg, mm -hmm. who supposed as uh, supposedly an informer who took seven kg of the drug, he won't go to jail. Mm. But he's also, you know, an accomplice. Mm. He's also a drug dealer, right? You know, so all right. of these people are the people we should be looking at, and all those that has been sent to jail. Mm. You know, because mind but, but, you, but then do, do they have grounds for appeal? Those people that. He walked the cases he walked on that it, resulted in people going to jail. Actually, starts from investigation. For you, for Nigerian police to convict you, that means you actually, you know, the evidence was overwhelming, because in most cases, you know, the non-conviction yeah. is higher than conviction. So for Nigerian police to convict you, that means the evidence of was overwhelming, mm -hmm. and so the court had no other option but to say, you know what. You committed this crime. But now the person so that, that, a, led, a, that led that investigation yes. has been indicted he, in, in drugs matter. That's what, that's I'm, what I'm asking. That do, do you think that those yeah, people there are now... Some, there are some cases you can say, maybe, you know, in some cases, some persons were... were um, some persons um, may be... Okay, in cases where you plant evidence, yeah. you know, on somebody because you want to yeah. deal with the person. Yeah. yeah, there are cases like that. But we have not seen... You know, situations where people come out to say, oh, my brother was convicted for this offense, but, you know, it was um, backhand or underhand dealing by the police. Mm. You know, if such cases, if you have such cases and they come out and then um, if there is still time, if yeah. there's still enough room mm. for reinvestigation. Mm. But my biggest challenge is mm. this. P police should use this as an opportunity to make a bold statement. Right. Set up, not this your phone call of a report police officer. Have a team. That you can actually, where people we, can we, interface and report police uh, crimes. We have to go now, Libras. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Good morning to you, Lagos. We're out. Stay one step ahead with the latest news and trending conversations here on 99.3 Nigeria Info. Don't tell people, are you added weight? Why are you losing weight? Yeah. Are you eating? No, it, it's not your business. That money, the pass is good. That money. You should be patient and pray to God that God is going to answer a prayer. Please, no, this is not all about prayer. It's yes. not like it's not prayer. Prayer. Yes, that is Nigerian mentality. It's not how finding happiness in your home. You pray. Your number one station for talk. Let's talk. 99.3 Nigeria Info. We are more than just radio. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Nigeria Info FM. Check us out on Facebook at Nigeria Info 99.3. Follow us on Twitter at Nigeria Info FM and on Instagram at Nigeria Info FM Lagos for live updates as it happens. 99.3 Nigeria Info. 